If you don't know where you're going, how will you know when you get there? I'm Peggy Schlechter, Community Vitality Field Specialist with SDSU Extension, and I'm going to help you be smart when writing your goals. A wise rancher once said, a lot of people work hard in their business, but you have to work hard on your business as well. Farm and ranch operators certainly aren't afraid of hard work. The hardest part of goal setting is just getting started. Goal setting will create efficiency in your business and provide a reference point for decision making. When you set your goals properly, you are able to focus on tasks that will help your business succeed. Set your business up for success by using the SMART principle to help you write and reach your goals one step at a time. S stands for specific. Your goal should specifically state what is to be accomplished and you know exactly what you are aiming to do. Instead of saying, I want to expand my beef herd, say, I will expand my beef herd by adding 50 cows. By being specific, you will know when you have accomplished your goal. M stands for measurable. Your goal should be able to be measured in some way so you can see if you achieved it. Making your goal measurable will also help you gauge your progress. A stands for attainable. Is it possible to attain your goal? While you want your goals to be challenging, you also want them to be possible. But don't waste your time writing goals that are easily accomplished because that doesn't move your operation forward. Those are items that most likely fit better on your to-do list. On the other hand, writing goals that aren't realistic will only lead you towards frustration. Setting a goal of starting a large citrus orchard in South Dakota is probably not attainable. R stands for relevant. A goal needs to be relevant to your operation's vision and mission. Does your goal lead your operation in the direction you want to head? And finally, T stands for time limit. If you do not assign a time limit, you may procrastinate and lose motivation. An example of a SMART goal could be, I will expand my beef herd by 50 cows in five years. This goal is specific, measurable, potentially attainable and relevant depending on your operation's vision and mission, and has a time limit. It can also be split into smaller steps, such as, I will achieve this goal by retaining or purchasing 10 extra replacement heifers each year for five years. Another example of a SMART goal could include, I will schedule and hold family succession planning meetings every month this year. You know, often our meetings involving family communication get pushed to the side, so writing this goal and sharing it with your family may make it happen. Now that you know how to set goals, it's time to get started. Keep your goals smart and write them down. Prioritize your goals and choose three to five that represent what you most want to achieve. If you have too many goals, you may lose the attainable in the smart because you don't have time to accomplish everything. Put your goals somewhere where you will see them often. If you keep a daily journal, write them on the inside cover. Write them on a whiteboard in your office. Hang them on the refrigerator. Make them visible. Goal setting is important for businesses and farm and ranch businesses are no exception. For more information, visit igrow.org.